Welcome back to this series on creating a lateral backend and connecting it to uh, Angular or Vue.js frontend. We already finished the backend part, we added authentication to it, and we also already finished the Angular frontend part. We're also pretty far regarding the Vue.js frontend. There we are able to sign a user up and in, and we're storing the token we're getting back from the server. Now we want to send this token with requests which access protected resources on our server to be able to access them again if we are authenticated. Now, since we already stored the token with this line of code here, and we are able to sign in here with our sign-in form, we got everything we need to authenticate ourselves to the server and let them know that we are indeed allowed to access protected resources. So the missing piece for us is to send this token with requests that access protected resources. Now, if we have a look at our backend here in our routes file in the API PHP folder, we see which routes are protected. The route which creates a new quote, which updates a quote or deletes a quote. Getting quotes is not protected. So therefore, for these three routes here, we need to send this token from our front end. Now, we do access these routes either from our quote um, component here, where we have the delete and update methods, or from the new quote method. Now, I will quickly add the code we need to use here in these components, and I will start in the new quote.view file. Now, the simple thing we need to do is here in on submitted, where we try to create a new quote, we need to get our token and we can get it from our lo local storage because this is where we stored it. We use the key token, so by getting an item with that key, we should get the token or we get undefined if no token is stored. Now this is fine if we get undefined because we will check if a token is present on our backend. So only if a token is present and only if that token is valid, only in this case are we allowed to continue. So here, where we sent this post request, we now need to add this token. And we do this by simply adding a query parameter to it. So at the end of this route, I'll add a query parameter, which is called token. And the value is of course, well, our token we fetch here. And this is all, this will send the token and allow us to create a new quote. Now, since this is all it takes, let's see if it works. If I go back to my application here and I sign in with my sign-in credentials, this seems to work. Now let me go to the new quote page and let's create a new quote here and hit submit. And this looks pretty, pretty good. We get the created status text here and if I get my quotes, we see the new quote. Now, if I try to delete that, it is deleted here, of course, because we update our front end before waiting on a response on the back end to give this instant reaction to the user. But you will see that we got an error message. And if we have a look at this error message here in the network tab, you see that in the end it just says token not provided. Now, of course, we could also print this more cleanly and prettily in our front end here when we catch it. That is something you could try implementing as a bonus task. I want to come back to how to add the token to not get this error message. So since we already implemented this logic here in our update quote, excuse me, in our new quote component, I will go to the quote component where we have to delete and update methods. And you could also create a mix in to share this code across all components where you need to have this token retrieval code or create a shared method in this component here. I will be very explicit and add this token retrieval code to both methods on delete and on update. And then we need to add this query parameter, very importantly, after this ID though. So not here after quote, not here. It should be at the end of your URL. So here I will add a new string, question mark token equals, and then, well, equals our token. And I will copy this and paste it into this put request as well at the very end. Now with this, the token should be sent to all requests where we need to send it. And keep in mind, if you don't have the token, it will be undefined, hence you will get an error and not be able to access this. And now with that, if I 
reload my application and get my quotes. You see it's still there. Let's try to edit it simply like this. Hit save and this looks good. We're getting status 200. And if I reload the app and reload my quotes, you see that indeed the quote or the change was stored in the database. And now if I delete it, this looks good too. We're getting a success message. And if I try to get my quotes again, it's not coming back because indeed it was deleted. So sending the token from our Vue.js application works too. And with that, we implemented all I wanted to implement in this tiny series. We have a lateral backend serving as a RESTful server where we have a couple of routes here which target appropriate controller actions where we validate our input and then store quotes or create a user or assign a user in and send back this token. We got route protection in place to prevent access to some, well, sensible routes from unauthenticated users. And on the front end, we finished both our Angular and our Vue.js application. Of course, these are very basic applications and you can improve them both when it comes to the look of it and the features they offer. But what they do offer are a lot of key features you will probably need in your projects. Accessing your RESTful API, sending requests or post requests to create new quotes or put or delete requests or a GET request, and also authentication, how to implement this, how to manage the token, and then finally, how to allow users to sign up and sign in to be able to access your protected resources. So a lot of things covered. I hope you'll join me in future series too. See you there. Bye.